G'day, my name's Pete and welcome to Tasmanian Bus Journeys. Well today I'm standing in Liverpool Street because I'm waiting to get on this bus to Launceston. It's the Route 702 Intercity Service Hobart to Launceston. Why am I catching that? That's because I'm going all the way to Wynyard today by buses. I've got another three legs after this one. And why am I doing that? Well back in 1970 my mother and I caught a train, the Tasman Limited train. And so today we're going to compare the modern bus to Wynyard from Hobart. We're going to compare that to what it's like being on the Tasman Limited train all those 52 years ago. We should have a really good trip. There are three connections to be made, including a pretty tight one in Devonport, only 10 minutes, but I believe that's pretty well organised. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to the day. Cheers. So here's a photo of myself and my mum on the left when I was 10 years old. If you like this video, please do like it and subscribe. Here we are in uh, Tasmania, the land below Australia. This is the site of our journey. The Tasman Limited, here it is around about 2005 as an excursion train. This train, my mum and I caught it in 1970. Um, this train left Hobart, here leaving the Hobart railway station, this is an early version of the train. Uh, it was a rail car then, 1950s, and it ended up, uh, we ended up in Wynyard uh, on the Tasman uh, Limited. So, um, here I am, uh, yeah. getting on the bus, getting ready to uh, go. Our driver this morning is Simon. So we start in Hobart today on our intercity uh, journey to Launceston in the north, Devonport, start of the northwest Burnie and finally ending up in Wynyard. So the first bus is the Route 702 10 a.m. service, transit time to Launceston, roughly two hours and 50 minutes. The second bus is the 705 at 115 service from Launceston to Devonport, transit time roughly 95 minutes. A change of operator, red line to Mersey Link. We catch the route 708, 3 p.m. service to Burnie, transit time about 50 minutes, and then we catch the route 197, another new operator, Metro, to Wynyard, transit time 45 minutes. So we are comparing the Tasman Limited 1970 to the Intercity bus in 2022. It leaves at 9.20 a.m. That's the Tasman Limited and it fairly slowly goes through Hobart Suburbs, gets as far as Brighton. At 10 o'clock, yeah. where is the Redlink bus? Well, it's been superbly maintained and ready for the journey. By 11 o'clock, the Tasman Limited from 1970 gets up to Colebrook because of twisty, windy track, very slow. The bus departs at 10 o'clock and up it goes as far as uh, a little bit of south of Oakland. So here we see the formal departure, the formal departure at 10 o'clock. And the alternative view. Here we are, departing on the Route 702 to Launceston, first leg of the journey. Just turning left into Mole Street. And you'll be very pleased to know there is a door to the rear of the coach. When you lock the door on the inside, the main light in there comes on. And the rest self is self-explanatory, it's very easy to use. So this would have been the exit by the Tasman Limited near the regatta ground at Hobart. The train is not the Tasman Limited though. We get to the historic Crescent Hotel and then relaxing views of the Derwent River. The Tasman Limited, uh, just over the Derwent River at Bridgewater, you can see the motile structure of the bridge. We will be also going over the same bridge in our intercity bus. We first approach by going along the, the causeway between and then 
Uh, we go across the, the bridge um, itself, a very uh, interesting uh, construction. Well, at 11 o'clock, we're slowed by roadworks, restricted speed on the and we're somewhat north of where the train would be at this stage, which would be some, which would be around about the Colebrook. So the bus is definitely ahead of the tra Tasman Limited if they're running at the same time. So another hour passes, and the Tasman Limited, uh, ever so slowly, uh, because of track work, uh, gets up to a place called Tunbridge. The Intercity Express just roars up the Midland Highway and ends up just between Ganara Junction and Epping Forest. The Tasman Limited here around about Parata, which is near, fairly near Oatlands, closer stop to Oatlands, and here's the Parata station as it more or less uh, exists now. Some fantastic buildings in Oatlands. Um, uh, obviously can't see them here because we're bypassing them today. There's no passengers at Oatlands. You can just see the windmill in the background. Here we see the Red Line bus actually going through Oatlands and it's one of my most favourite places in Tasmania. It's full of historic buildings. Here's the central admin building and here we can see a better view of the lovely windmill of uh, Oatlands. Great place to visit, highly recommended. Here yeah, we can see the railway line which would have been used by the Tasman Limited. We're just south of, um, we're just south of Tunbridge. It's uh, 11. So now we hit to Campbelltown. It's the only town that hasn't been bypassed by the Midland Highway. You see the lovely um, Elizabeth River. Uh, we're crossing the Red Bridge uh, built in 1838. Campbelltown's got uh, the village green, a very pleasant place to, to stop. Uh, old buildings, uh, at historical societies, op shops, churches and the like. It's it's a nice place to stop. Well, it's exactly high noon here and we're somewhere between Canara Junction and Epping Forest. We're on time. You can see the vast expanses of the Midlands in front of you. Very pleasant day um, so far. Rain is forecast though. Let's see how we go. So let's keep on looking at the comparison and uh, by one o'clock the, the train uh, it does get to Canara Junction. The bus, though, gets all the way into... It's going past the Metro bus depot. Well, welcome to Launceston. We've uh, made exceptional time today. We've got out of Hobart pretty quick without much traffic and didn't get stuck in the road work, which is great. Here we are. We've arrived well on time here. Um, it's 12.35. We got here 15 minutes early, so there's going to be plenty of time to have lunch here at Launceston, no problems with connection whatsoever. Yeah, this cafe, which I've stopped at a few times at the Launceston Transit Centre, is called the Elm Tree. It reminds me, it must be very similar to those times when people had to quickly get off trains when they didn't have any catering on trains in England and rapidly go here. Well, they're, they're good here, they're good, good food and they can turn it around very quickly, the Elm Tree and just scanning around Launceston here we look up and a little bit away from the centre here but you see the old post office tower in the distance looking um, pretty splendid but Launceston another time well we've stopped here at the cafe at the transit centre here in Launceston I've got myself a schnitzel, schnitzel burger for lunch really looking forward to that after a very good bus trip up from Hobart to Launceston so by two o'clock, the Tasman Limited had got up to a place called Western Junction, paused there, and then just got slightly ahead of that. Meanwhile, the intercity bus, it got as far as Deloraine. A photo of the rail car which went between Launceston and Western Junction, which meant the Tasman Limited did not have to go into Launceston. I vividly remember making this change of train at Western Junction. It was easy to do, worked well, but the tr shuttle the rail car felt not as comfortable. This is how it all worked. There was a place called Western Junction. We had trains in Hobart from Wynyard and from Launceston. They all approached the Western Junction at more or less the same time. The Launceston train 
uh, arrived at 1.35, the Hobart train arrived at 1.38, the Wynyard train arrived at 1.43. They all at the same place at the same time. That means people from Launceston could go to Wynyard, Wynyard could go to Launceston, Hobart to Launceston, and vice versa. The trains then continued on their journeys. The shuttle went back to Launceston, the Hobart train went on to Wynyard and so forth. The whole process of changing passengers and trains took about 15 minutes. Well, somewhat miraculously, my uh, uh, Hobart to Launceston coach has transformed into my Launceston to Devonport coach. So Route 702 will change to Route 705 and this should leave in about 20 minutes and I should get into Devonport on time for my next connection. So here we are, we have the trilogy of buses. We have the Kalos bus to St Helens, which will leave at 1.30. We have the Hobart Red Line, Red Line Hobart service. The Red Line Hobart service, which will leave at 1.30. And the next bus, which I'm going to get on, is the 1.15. We leave just three minutes late and a uh, back view of the 1.30 departures to yes, Hobart. It's not and the back of Lex and today. Thank you. Thank you. A camera malfunction meant no video footage of Westbury when we went through it. A very interesting historic town. Here's just a few snaps which I took on a previous occasion. Well, it's exactly two o'clock now, four hours after we left Hobart, and we're in the township, very small township of Exton. Um, So by three o'clock the Tasman Limited would have been at, at the town of Deloraine. Uh, the Intercity Express we were hopeful would then be at Devonport by three so we can make our connection. But let's see. Here we are at Deloraine, uh, the site of the first railway line from Launceston to Deloraine built in uh, 1871, uh, uh, so historic place. We are crossing the Meander River here uh, and uh, uh, coming into uh, Deloraine. There you are, you can see the railway bridge over the Meander River, still in current use. And uh, there's the railway line running through more or less an intersection here. There's the old uh, water, ta water tower for the railway station in Deloraine. Everything was going really well in terms of connection and all of a sudden we've had to divert into the Mersey Hospital to, to drop off some passengers there going to hospital. Um, so a little bit of a question mark whether we could make, uh, make our connection but uh, let, let, fingers crossed we could. Um, so we're turning around this lovely big uh, turning circle and we also see a Metropolitan bus service, so the Devonport to La Trobe uh, bus service. So just wrapping up part one, the frequency between Hobart to Devonport, it's three times a day, twice on weekends, but please check your timetables. Uh, the full fare in 2022 is adult 71, 60, concessions 33, 60. You can buy the tickets on board, but sometimes the buses are really full and you can't get on, so it's better to book. So it's to be continued. If you like, just do something, press like and subscribe, and we'll see you in part two.